The European Central Bank, also known as the ECB, plays a crucial role in Europe's economy. It is the central bank for the 20 countries using the euro currency. The ECB's primary job is to maintain price stability. This means keeping inflation, the rate at which prices rise, under control. The ECB does this by setting interest rates and managing the supply of money in the economy. The ECB's decisions have a significant impact on businesses and consumers alike. Interest rates set by the ECB influence borrowing costs for individuals and companies. These rates also affect the value of the euro in international markets. The ECB's actions are closely watched by investors and policymakers worldwide. What is the primary function of the European Central Bank? The debate over interest rate cuts within the European Central Bank, or ECB, is unfolding against a backdrop of global economic uncertainty which has been exacerbated by recent geopolitical tensions and trade disputes. The annual meetings of the International Monetary Fund, or IMF, serve as a crucial platform for finance ministers and central bank governors from around the world to convene and discuss pressing economic issues, ranging from fiscal policies to monetary strategies. These meetings provide valuable insights into the health of the global economy, potential risks on the horizon, and emerging economic trends that could impact future financial stability. The IMF meetings often influence the decisions of central banks, including the ECB, by offering a comprehensive analysis of global economic conditions. Discussions about global growth prospects, inflation trends, and financial stability can sway policymakers' views on the appropriate course of action shaping their strategies to address economic challenges. The recent IMF meetings highlighted concerns about slowing global growth, adding another layer of complexity to the ECB's decision-making process, especially in the context of balancing growth and inflation. Why are the IMF annual meetings significant in the context of the ECB's interest rate debate? The answer lies in the interconnected nature of global economies. The IMF meetings provide a global economic outlook and influence central bank decisions, including the ECB's, on interest rates, by offering a broader perspective on international economic data and trends. The ECB's inflation target of 2% is a key benchmark in its decision-making process. This target represents a level of inflation that the ECB considers to be conducive to sustainable economic growth. When inflation is too high, it erodes the purchasing power of consumers and can lead to economic instability. Conversely, excessively low inflation can stifle investment and economic activity. The ECB closely monitors inflation trends and economic indicators to assess whether its target is achievable. Recent data suggests that inflation in the Eurozone is gradually approaching the ECB's 2% target. This development has fueled the debate within the ECB about whether further interest rate cuts are necessary or if the central bank should maintain its current course. What is the significance of the ECB's 2% inflation target? The 2% inflation target represents a balance that supports economic growth without excessive price increases, guiding the ECB's decisions. Section 4. Doves take flight. Calls for bold action. Within the ECB, officials known as doves are advocating for a more accommodative monetary policy, pushing for measures that would support economic growth and stability. Dovish officials typically prioritize economic growth and employment over concerns about inflation, believing that a robust economy will ultimately benefit everyone. 
They argue that the Eurozone economy is facing headwinds from slowing global growth and trade tensions, which could hinder economic progress if not addressed promptly. In their view, a half-point interest rate cut would provide a much-needed boost to the economy by encouraging borrowing, investment and consumer spending, which are essential for sustained growth. Dobbs point to low inflation rates as evidence that the ECB has room to manoeuvre without risking an inflationary surge, making it a safe time to implement such policies. They argue that the benefits of stimulating the economy outweigh the potential risks of slightly higher inflation, which they believe can be managed effectively. Moreover, they contend that a proactive approach to monetary policy is essential to prevent a deeper economic slowdown, which could have long-lasting negative effects. What is the main argument of the dovish officials within the ECB? They emphasize the importance of taking bold steps now to secure future economic stability. Doves believe that stimulating the economy through interest rate cuts is crucial, even if it means slightly exceeding the inflation target, as the long-term benefits far outweigh the short-term risks. Section 5. Hawks stand firm. A cautious approach. On the other side of the debate are the hawkish members of the ECB, who are known for their conservative stance on monetary policy. These officials are generally more concerned about the risks of inflation and tend to favour a more cautious approach to monetary policy, emphasising the need for stability. Hawks argue that the Eurozone economy is not in dire straits and that a half-point interest rate cut is unnecessary and potentially harmful, as it could destabilise the market. They express concerns that further easing of monetary policy could fuel asset bubbles and financial instability which could have long-term negative effects. Hawks also worry that cutting interest rates too aggressively could limit the ECB's ability to respond effectively to future economic shocks, reducing their flexibility. They advocate for a wait-and-see approach, arguing that the ECB should carefully assess the impact of its previous policy decisions before making further adjustments ensuring that each step is measured. What are the main concerns of the hawkish ECB officials regarding a significant interest rate cut? Their primary worry is the potential for unintended consequences. Hawks fear that a large rate cut could lead to inflation, asset bubbles, and limit the ECB's future policy options making it harder to manage the economy in the long run. Section 6. Weighing the arguments. Rate cuts versus stability. The debate within the ECB reflects the inherent challenges of monetary policy. There is no easy answer, and the central bank must carefully weigh the potential benefits and risks of its decisions. Doves argue that a bold move is needed to avert an economic slowdown, while Hawks caution against complacency and the unintended consequences of excessive stimulus. Ultimately, the ECB's decision will depend on its assessment of the balance of risks facing the Eurozone economy. Factors such as inflation, expectations, wage growth and the outlook for global trade will all play a role in the central bank's deliberations. The ECB's decision will have significant implications for businesses, investors and consumers across the Eurozone. What are the key factors the ECB will likely consider when making its decision on interest rates? The ECB will consider inflation, wage growth, global trade and the potential impact on financial stability. Section 7. Europe's Economic Horizon. Charting the course ahead. The ECB's interest rate decision comes at a pivotal moment for the European economy. The Eurozone is grappling with a confluence of challenges, including slowing global growth, trade uncertainties, and geopolitical risks. 
The outcome of the ECB's deliberations will have a significant impact on the region's economic trajectory. A half-point interest rate cut could provide a much-needed boost to business investment and consumer spending, potentially bolstering economic